Okay, when you did long division, it should have looked like this. So let me hold this still just for a minute <clears throat> so you can see what I did, so you can check your answer. Um, had a remainder of seven, way down here. I worked it real quick. Okay, so if you don't see that, just let me know real quick. Okay, so when you're doing synthetic division, remember I told you to use all these coefficients that you used before. So you're going to do a four, a zero, negative three, zero, from that zero. This is a one, zero, and then a five. Okay, and then you're going to use the number one because that's what makes this zero. Okay, so we're going to draw my line. Okay, so you drop it, and then you multiply, and then you add up, add up and down, multiply on the diagonal. I'm assuming you guys have that. So that gives me one, add that one, multiply that gives me one, add that I get two, multiply I get two, add it I get two, multiply it I get two, add it I get seven. Right there, that's my remainder. Notice that was my remainder up here. This is going to be your boring number. This is your x to the first, x to the second, x to the third, x to the fourth. This is your x to the fifth. So notice my answer should be 4x to the fifth. Look what it is up there. 4x to the fourth. There it is. 1x to the third, 1x plus 2x plus 2 with a remainder of 7. There you go.